Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, before we start, um, I just kind of wanted to get us all to be here, you know, in the present moment, um, so that um, we can. Well, we want to give you the best energy that that we have and connect with all of you. And you know, obviously, my picture questions regarding ayahuasca so we wanted to you know this is our own circle <laughs> that we have going going on and Iggy and Iggy and I will talk to you about what, what we do but um if you guys don't mind you know for us to be present moment if we could all, I know it um take, take a camera breath and breath and together, take a deep breath mm. and then exhale through the mouth good one more time, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale through the mouth. Uh, One more time with sound, inhale, and exhale through the mouth with sound. Uh, Good, and then just focus and tune into the energy of your heart. And you can even touch your heart if you want to. And then for, for me, this allows me to connect, you know, with everybody energetically. Um, Iggy and I are energy healers, so um, we're very sensitive to everybody's energies. And when we connect this way here from our heart, then we can really come from a more true and authentic space and connect with your, with your own heart together. So thank you all so much for being here. We're just so very grateful to spend this time together and talk to you about microdosing ayahuasca. So yeah. welcome everybody. Yeah, welcome. We welcome. honor you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your interest. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to say that I appreciate all of you mm -hmm. being here. I'm sending my love to all of you. Uh, this is such a beautiful space to yes. share and um, talk about the sacred medicine. So um, Iggy and I wanted to share a little bit about ourselves first Some, before we so share before we start. The screen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. So that's us a long time ago <laughs> before we even <laughs> knew what we were going to do together. You know, having this mission together to bring the sacred plants to the world. So. Um, this was before you did ayahuasca. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I was very 3D in those days. <laughs> and it was probably only a short, like four years ago, well, actually right. less than four years ago. Uh, right, right. <clears throat> so this is us in Peru. We're at Colca Canyon um, in this picture. And so we wanted to just let you guys know a little bit about what we do. We, we're both energy healers. Iggy and I facilitate ceremonies here in the Sacramento area. We're light language practitioners. We also do sound healing and um, uh, I do the crystal Reiki and I'm a yoga teacher and a life coach <laughs> and uh, Iggy does biofeedback. We do retreats. Um, we do retreats in Costa Rica and retreats in Mount Shasta with plant medicine. Um, we're both health coaches. We teach vegan cooking classes and uh, we just love ceremonies and we do a, a lot of that. And we know ourselves to be more than just this physical body. We know ourselves to be multidimensional and galactic. So we know that we're starseed light workers here on the planet. So that's just a little bit about what we do. Yep. And so we wanted to introduce you guys to Laura and Matt Stoker. They are here on the call. Um, tonight, and they founded Awake Healer, and so I am going to um, give it up to you guys, <laughs> Matt and Laura, if you could say something, and we can, like, mm -hmm. stop sharing something. Yeah. There they are. You want to turn on your there mic? Are. Yay. Sure. Thank you, guys. Um, I love these calls because I can feel the love that you guys have it's incredible it's amazing but um laura and i we uh went to peru about four years ago now three and a half four years ago 
<clears throat> having never, everybody laughed at us. We, we showed up at the Karma Cafe on the board <laughs> in Iquitos, Peru, and we had no idea what we were in for. We had read a lot of books. We had watched a lot of movies about ayahuasca because people say that the medicine calls you and it definitely called us. We had never heard of ayahuasca before. And then in the space of a week, we heard it many times every day. And then I had a conversation with a friend for about an hour on the phone, about 10 o'clock at night, because he had posted on Facebook about his experience. And when I hung up the phone with him, I thought either this is just Jimmy has gone off the deep end, or this is actually the most incredible thing I've ever heard in my life. And so we, we right then and there, Laura and I, we got on Amazon and we ordered every book that had anything to do with ayahuasca. And <clears throat> two months later, we were in the jungle and everybody at the Karma Cafe, that's where we were meeting all these people that we hadn't met before. They all laughed at us because we're, we were, I say we were Mormons because now we don't really know what we are. Uh, but, um, but we had never altered our, our state of consciousness, at least purposefully anyway. Um, and, and never still to this day, I've never been drunk, uh, you know? And so we, everyone was laughing at us like, you're going to do ayahuasca for your first time. And we we're like, Honey, maybe we should go to the bar first. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe we're in over our heads. And, and let me just say this, okay? Ayahuasca, ceremonial ayahuasca with chacruna, with, with uh, methyltryptamine. Whoever you are, mm -hmm. you are probably in over your head <laughs> because it, it, it really is powerful. It's, um, you know, it's, there's it, no really yeah. way, way to prepare. It's a very um, sacred experience that you need to be in the right place with the right people. It's a ceremonial experience. And of course, what we're going to talk about and share today doesn't have the DMT in it. So it's legal and very um, wonderful to microdose. Um, safe. Safe. Uh, you can go about your day and microdose anytime during the day and function. You're not um, having, I will say you do, you can receive many downloads. It increases intuition. Um, I'll say though that, that the ayahuasca ceremonial experience, ayahuasca had me when I heard help with PTSD and trauma, because I had, and I won't go into my whole story, but I actually wrote a book. It's on Amazon, it's called Joy's Answer. If anyone wanted to read more details about my story, but I was I was married to a man. Oh, you got it right here. I was married to a man that um, for 22 years suffered from mental health issues. And that's a whole another long subject. Um, learning to set boundaries as a woman and and all of that. And um, he, we had six kids together and he, he uh, took his life after 22 years of being married. And so I was left with a lot of trauma and kids that had trauma and just kind of survival mode really to say the very least. If anyone's had PTSD, it's very physical. It's a very, um, you can't help it. Something set you off and it's just a physical experience that you have. And so I wanted, I wanted not to have that anymore. And so I was able to in the jungle, my first experience with ayahuasca, very difficult but very wonderful have the and I won't go into the whole journey now but to have the pain of the PTSD transformed into gratitude for the journey gratitude for the pain gratitude for all the lessons I learned being married to to my first husband and not even for a second have I felt the victim of suicide since that experience and so that led me to write a book and share my journey which i did share about the plant medicine um going to peru all the ceremonies everything that happened which was very much out on a limb because like matt said we were very conservative and i was raised in a very conservative wonderful religious home and that was a little out there for me to write about actually drinking ayahuasca in the jungle but i knew it was my authentic experience and i needed to do it it made such a profound impact. Although I'll say, I'll say that when we left, I was like, I can never do that again. That was so hard because there were other ceremonies where it was emotional processing and it was just, it's hard to face things, you know, it, it's hard, it's work. 
But ayahuasca called us again, and we ended up two years later back in the jungle, same place. This time I brought my daughter, who's uh, 23, and she had, hadn't really dealt with the trauma. And um, <clears throat> she had her own healing journey and healing experience that's changed her life too as well. But in those ceremonies, which was uh, January of 2020, <laughs> And just before everything started getting really weird in this world, or I should say everybody's waking up, um, uh, I, I was told in the ceremonies that I needed to share plant medicine with the world, like over and over and over. And I, in my mind, see, I'm, I'm in essential oils. I've been in essential oils for almost 11 years. Um, I share essential oils. That's what I do for my living. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, I share oils. Those are plants. And I was told, no, it's the plants from the jungle you need to bring these to the world and i i thought how do i do this how do we do this like uh, what i mean we're in peru how do we bring these jungle medicines to the world and um one thing has led to the next i mean it's been a journey of gosh 10 months 10 yeah, months of yeah, developing right, 10 months awake healer and and how it's all come to fruition has been synchronistic event after synchronistic event and it's truly humbling to be um to be really part of this and to be able to associate with such incredible people like you judy and iggy you're just mm -hmm. just oh we love you we love 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 you and we love we connect with we with you so much and so just appreciate being on this call and and having the opportunity to, to share a little quick, uh, what is it? The, um, the quick version book of <laughs> the, the, the cliff notes, the cliff, version. Notes. <laughs> cliff notes version. I could talk for two hours, but I'm not going to do that about my journey, but I, I just want, I just wanted to say that <clears throat> my wife, here we are to set the stage. It's pitch black because most of these ceremonies are done at nighttime. And we have to hike up to this Maloka and it <laughs> is in the middle of the jungle. And, um, it, we're tr stomping through the mud. There's snakes, oh yeah, uh, poisonous snakes in, in the middle of the path. We've got our headlamps with mosquitoes flying all around. Oh, bugs like bats <coughs> flying right over our heads. I mean, it was, it's really and woo. <laughs> yeah, and and you know when they blow that candle out in the middle, it's like okay, Matt, what did you do? Like you've really done it this time. Those were my thoughts going through my head. Like you've, you've really done it this time. I love living on the edge. Uh, you know, I like driving a little too fast, <laughs> flying through the air on my motorcycle or whatever, but I'm like, this is just this, you really did it this time. But when everyone was purging, that's a big part of the process is, is vomiting, you know, and most people do. Um, I look over at my wife and she is in the perfect lotus position like calm as can be and i'm like mm. all right i need to you know i need to i need to handle my stuff here this is crazy but but laura one thing she didn't say is she was able to see her um <clears throat> deceased husband and communicate with him and receive the healing that she needed and have mm -hmm. that had that communication that she needed and uh, most of these ceremonies if you're not familiar they last you know, about six, six to eight hours. They're fairly long. And my ceremony, um, one of them, so we had many ceremonies down there was about five minutes where a voice uh, told me to look up and open my mouth. And keep in mind, I'd never had any kind of experience like this before, but it was a, a very real voice. Just like if you guys were conversing with me, look up and open your mouth. I looked up open my, my mouth and I saw a circle serrated with um you know it was blue circle and then a red laser came down and i could taste blood going down the back of my throat i didn't feel any pain but i had a pituitary tumor and if any of you are familiar with that uh, the surgery is extremely invasive they go up to the roof of your mouth or up through your nose it's a very uh, invasive surgery and most people have to be on medication the rest of your life to prepare for this i went off my medication dostinex and uh, to be able to do this. And um, I knew I was out of it. Five minutes later, um, the same voice said, rest, you're healed. And I knew I was healed. I knew it. 100%. I knew it. And uh, I didn't rest. I, I just 
I'm I'll a, tell you I'm what a he big did. I'm a big guy, but I prostrated myself on the floor in thanks, and I just had yeah. tears coming out my eyes. And and then and, he started doing push-ups. No, that was another night. Oh, it was. Uh, that was another night. No, right, I just I I had so much. He was power. like, I feel so good. Oh my gosh, he was like cranking out push-ups. I, and he's I, like, I've been healed, and I'm like, what? That wasn't the night. That was a different. Oh well, yeah, we, it's all it's all amazing. <laughs> but we we um I haven't told my doctor that uh, I was healed from uh, from a cosmic laser yet. Um, <laughs> But I have, I haven't, I have not taken that medication since and um, all my levels, I get checked every like three to six months. But I, when, when Laura received that message that she needed to bring the medicine to the world, I thought, well, what do I need? What can I do to fulfill this? And so I thought I'll build a website and I'll have categories of healing, That's okay. what, you know, emotional, physical, whatever, you know, PTSD, tra trauma from a childhood abuse you know, diabetes, cancer, whatever. And I'll share these stories. Well, I just started on, on social media, typing in, you know, hashtag ayahuasca and reaching out to people. And I did hundreds of interviews. And I have to tell you, our stories are not unique. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing that blew my mind. And um, one of the people that I, I ended up interviewing was a guy that lives in uh, Phoenix. And he was telling me that uh, he served in in, um, in Iraq, he served in the Middle East and saw horrific things, did horrific things. And he suffered and he couldn't hold a job. His marriage was in tatters. And he said that he went to the VA and there was somebody there that he always sees. And he looked like a completely different person. He said, bro, what happened to you? That's what he says, "What, bro, what happened to you? He says, I've been microdosing ayahuasca. And he says, what's that? What, what are you talking about? And the guy says, yeah, it's completely changed my life. Here, call this guy. And as he's telling me this, it, I, my mind is blown because the guy that he said, here, he gave him this phone number of a guy that lives in Peru was a guy that I had just met the week before. And I'm like, what is going on here? And I, it seems like I've had hundreds of these conversations where I'm going, what? With these people where Stars are aligning, synchronistic, uh, miraculous, really. There, there's no, really no other way to describe it as miraculous. And when you start talking about ayahuasca and some of these plant medicines and experiences, what we're, what we're talking about is we're talking about miraculous healing. That's what it is. It's miraculous. And this guy, he says to me, he goes, well, Matt, that's so cool. Did Alan tell you this guy? He says, did he tell you that this is what he does? And he says, I have a bottle. I'll send it to you. So he sends me a bottle in that, that first night. I got this bottle. Um, this is what we package it, it, it in now. This is our product here, Pure Vine. Um, <clears throat> and, 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 and the Pure Vine is much different oh, than, yeah. than anybody else that I'm, I'm familiar with that has this. But, but basically... Um, I, I had my first lucid dream. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with lucid dreaming, but I am talking, I'm fully awake, but I'm dreaming and I'm taking messages. I'm receiving, I'm seeing words I have never seen before in my entire life. And I'm writing them down. Uh, in fact, I think I didn't even get out of the dream and I was Googling them, <laughs> but the, I had never had these experiences ever happen to me before. And I, and I have had many experiences in my life. I consider myself very blessed, fortunate that I've had very spiritual experiences. I, I was a missionary for two years in Mexico. And all I tried to do all day, every day was love people and, and serve them. And I had amazing experiences, but, but ne never anything like this. And, um, and I've had many other experiences with the pure vine. But if I could say one thing, it's that the healing is in this vine and uh, you do not need the dimethyltryptamine. That's what's so miraculous and incredible about this. And mm -hmm. the indigenous peoples, uh, a lot of them, they only drank the pure vine. So it's just the vine of ayahuasca. And for, for those of you that may be a little confused as to what I'm talking about, <clears throat> the ceremonial ayahuasca that Laura and I drank that had these experiences contains the, the vine of ayahuasca, it's a vine. Let's see if we got a photo of a, a vine somewhere. And then we also, and then it also contains the leaf of another plant. And that plant is chacruna. And that plant contains 
uh, dimethyltryptamine. And some tribes add other plants in there and so forth. But um, but but the healing is in the is in the vine. And um, while it's not a hallucinogen, it's not considered a hallucinogen. Uh, it was first discovered, uh, well, actually identified the substance. It's been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But the first scientist, I believe it was German, um, <clears throat> named the, the main alkaloid in the vine telepathine because uh, the, he said that it has like telepathic powers. And um, I, I don't know if that's the proper word uh, that's now called harmaline, but, uh, or harmala, uh, there's several different variants of that, but, um, but they're beta carbolines, they're extremely powerful. And the research on this stuff is just now coming out, but, mm -hmm. but there's, there's so much evidence now that you've got major research facilities, major universities, Johns Hopkins is doing these studies. Um, and you're going to learn a lot more about this, but mm -hmm. it's all part of this awakening the world kind of waking up to the fact that, hey, guess what? We're all in this together. We're all one, mm -hmm. you know? And um, there, there's no- I want to share one thing too. Oh, this um, is the vine. I just want to show that. Well, he's showing that. Um, the the vine is actually, so my oldest daughter is a type one diabetic. She's <clears throat> almost 26. And she's had di type one diabetes since she was three. And um, we just learned a few months ago that the JDRF, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation is actually studying pure vine ayahuasca because it is shown to help grow beta cells back in the pancreas. And you know, it's interesting because Brianna, when she microdoses her blood sugar, microdoses the pure vine, her blood sugars are more stable. How cool, and that's like, that's like a physical thing that there's so much that is untapped that's existing in the jungle to help us with all types of issues from physical to emotional, to spiritual, to everything. And it is a great awakening that's happening right now. People yeah. are becoming more aware of it and the researchers are too. Yeah, so we, yeah. we've been on a journey the last 10 months and bringing this medicine here. It's been extremely difficult because yeah. um, if, you, if you ever wanna get a product in, in a FDA facility, um, you know, this is not something that we want to be um, putting in bottles in our kitchen, right? And it's also something that you probably, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you probably don't want to be ingesting something that was prepared in somebody's kitchen, you know, and <laughs> obviously this comes from the jungle. So uh, we have shamans that prepare it of the Shipibo tribe. And um, we have protocols by which um, the vines that we use, because there's many different variants, we only use one variant of the vine. And we are also creating, um, we're in the final stages of bringing this to market, but it is a, a powder mm -hmm. that you also take sublingually. So this is just taken just a few drops under your tongue each day. We recommend a few drops to begin with and then increase your dose just depending on how you feel, but starting off two or three drops under your tongue and you hold it there for uh, as, as long as you can, but we recommend about 10 minutes um, to hold it. But uh, it has a little QR code on it to tell you how to use it, but it has this, I'm not gonna open this one, but cause it's all locked, but it has a little orifice reducer that you just simply tip it up, drop it under your tongue, hold it for 10 minutes, so. And the um, and so the powder, what the, the way we want that, the reason why we've been working on that so diligently is because we want uh, anytime you put put any substance into liquid, you're immediately going to be faced with uh, degradation and um, and and the reason why we wanted this prepared in an FDA facility is one for bacteria. We didn't want any bacteria. We want the medicine to be pure and um, and so. Uh, that we were in a facility that um, that brings it up to a temperature very slowly and um, and then and then puts it in the bottles professionally and locks the bottles. Um, it's a very tedious process. <laughs> yeah, and and no labs. You have to have all this paperwork to be able to have the product in in one of those facilities, and nobody wanted to touch it, just because uh, when you look up Banisteriopsis capi, the scientific name, shows up as a hallucinogenic agent and 
nobody wants to touch it. And it, no matter how much explaining you, you do to these people, they just say, nope, too much liability. We don't want it. We don't want to touch it. But we've had uh, some very fortunate, amazing, miraculous things happen. And mm -hmm. we've been able to do this. But what a wake healer is, is we want to get this medicine out to people. But um, the medicine is really just a catalyst for a start of a change. And um, anytime you change anything in your life, especially when you're trying to change things for the better, it's difficult, right? Because we, we want to hold on to these maybe bad habits or, or we just don't want to do the work, right? It's like January 1 rolls around and we all, have, we all want to go to the gym, but how many of us go to the gym? You know, it's like nobody wants to do that work. It's not very appealing, but this helps that process, right? It's just like some people take a, uh, what, what's it called? A, uh, you know, pre-workout drink or something that has tons of caffeine to get their ass to the gym. <laughs> this, this creates shifts in your life. I've had people with just one dose of this say that they've received messages that they've been trying answers to things that they've been searching for their entire life. So it's a big catalyst. But some of these things that occur are huge. They're huge. I mean, I had, uh, I had an experience where uh, Judy was kind enough to tell me, Matt, that's a Kundalini rising. I wouldn't know a Kundalini from a Kumana, Kumana Tata. You know, I didn't, you know, what is that? And she's telling me, Matt, you know, that I just felt a power surge through my body. Unlike I've ever felt in my life. It was like Wednesday afternoon at two o'clock in the afternoon. I felt like Superman. I felt like if I raised my arm, I was going to fly through the roof and in the sky. And, uh, and, and, you know, that's a lot to process, you know, what is that? And, and these experiences are not unique. You know, I had, I had a lucid dream the other night where I was seeing images, downloads coming in. And I was talking to my wife, I was saying, Laura, what in the heck is this? What does this mean? You know, and mind, I could not have thought, I'm telling you, there's no way Imagine this pattern right here, how intricate that is. Imagine seeing different uh, intricate patterns like this, a couple every second. That's what I was seeing. How do you explain that? You can't explain it, right? And so it's difficult, you know, seeking out or, um, you know, leaning into the unexplained. And um and so that's why it's very important to have people like Iggy and Judy that have dedicated their lives towards helping you understand what this is. And so the uh, Awake Healer is really just a framework that we created so that people like us, I say people like us, I'm not referring to you, I'm referring to me, kind of people that are kind of dumb to this stuff. I mean, honestly, I, I just know that I was healed. And my wife was healed. She no longer is incapacitated for 30 minutes when an ambulance or police car drives by, you know, that's profound healing, you know, um, and I no longer take this medication and, and, and my tumor is, 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 uh, it doesn't bother me anymore. Um, these things, uh, we've created this framework so that you can take this, this medicine. We want it. We want, this is very expensive. It's hard. We've invested probably hundreds of thousands of dollars now in bringing this here. And the only way that we could see that we could bring this out to the world is by, um, by combining it with other plant medicines. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and it's important that you get the education that you need. And so we have on our website, if you go to awakehealer.com, you'll see that we have some courses. We've rented a professional film studio here in Utah uh, for the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> we're going to have... Uh, oh, Iggy's yeah. he's helping me out here with a little presentation. <laughs> but, but we're going to have, guys, we're going to have dozens of courses. If you've ever heard of Combo, Kampuk, Philo Medusa Bicolor, uh, Amazonian Tree Frog um, Medicine, um, we have probably more of that than anybody in the world in our home. <laughs> we don't like that. Um, it's going to be in a warehouse tomorrow. So you can buy it and get it shipped out. But basically, we, we founded a wake healer for you. It's a way for you to access this knowledge, these medicines, 
in a safe way, in a way, in a community where you can ask questions. And, you know, if you have a lucid dream that is showing you all kinds of things that you're having a difficult time processing, like, what does this mean for my life? It's kind of helpful if five other people in a group say, I had that same dream or I, and, and this is not rare guys. This is not rare for people to be in a ceremony and have the exact same vision, you know? And, um, and, and so it's, it's great to be able to be in a community that save people that love you. And, uh, and so basically, you know what, uh, let me, it, do, can I have control here? Yeah. You know, yeah. Through, um, so I'm going to try, try and go fast. The this, this is really um, the group leader presentation. I think I have the wrong one. Should I open up the other presentation? Uh, you know what? You know what, guys? That that's fine. Actually, we can just go to the website if you want to pull up oh, the website. Okay. 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 Let's pull up the website. But but uh, we've got so we have people flying in from all over the country. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, today. I spoke with a professional aromatherapist, mm -hmm. and um, and she's coming in. And, 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 and doing classes. And <clears throat> what we've learned is that, uh, is that plants heal and pl there's a spirit in the plants. And <clears throat> this one, the website, okay, dang, sorry. And so, and so we have these courses that are available. We'll have about 50 courses uh, within the next six months. Mm -hmm. But if you've ever been curious about sound healing, if you've ever been curious about meditation and breath work, and um, and cacao. And, you know, if you've never participated in a cacao ceremony, um, you supposed? Okay. Can you guys see this? Can you see it? Um, share. Here we go. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Can I have control? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do I do that? Let me see. Uh, remote control. No. So I'm I'm gonna well well uh, Iggy's figuring that out. <laughs> I, want, I want to say, guys, that oh there we go. Uh, yeah. Where is yeah. Matt? Oh, oh there we so go. So that most of you guys, most of you, if you receive the pure vine, most of you will start to feel connected to this plant, and you will want to have a ceremonial experience with with the DMT, with Chakruna. And uh, so Iggy and Judy are actually, they've got a, a retreat planned um, for Costa, planned for Costa in, Rica. In May. In May. End of May. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're connected with other, we have other group leaders that are actually facilitators as well of, um, and Iggy and Judy are facilitators of different plant medicines as well. And, um, and so they can assist you in, uh, in your healing. Um, but a lot, you'll find that a lot of these other healing modalities, such as, uh, even yoga is a healing modality and breath work and, and some of these other things, um, can assist you in your path of healing. And it can be very profound. You may find out, like I talked to somebody the other day, Gina Avian, uh, she's in Miami. She said by, by a, a total mistake, she found herself in a breath work class. And she she transported herself. She had a full blown like uh, almost like an ayahuasca type experience just from controlling her breathing. So we want to make a lot of these healing modalities and um, and and plants and education these oils, essential oils. We want to make them available to you. So we give everybody the pure vine for free if it's a hundred dollars to purchase this. Or, and this is a one month supply, or you can purchase uh, a one month or, or, or a one month order of essential oils. It's a hundred dollars. It's what my wife, my, it's, this is what my wife does. She's a, she's what's called a presidential diamond in, uh, in this company, doTERRA. And uh, she's one of the, the top, uh, top distributors in, in doTERRA. And so we just found that this is probably the best way for us to get this medicine out to the world. And our goal really is that you have access to all this education. You have access to trainings. You have access to events at a discount. 
So Iggy and Judy are doing cacao ceremonies and they're doing different events all the time. And we have um, yesterday here in Salt Lake City, we had a combo ceremony. And, um, and you know, if you're an Awake Healer member, then you get these combo ceremonies at a, at, it, it was almost a 50% discount. And, um, and so these are things that are transformative. And um, <clears throat> there's enough content here to, to help you for years, right? And we're going to continually add the content. And then we're going to add these opportunities to go to these different retreats. If you look at these retreat centers as well, I mean, these are uh, uh, beautiful, beautiful places. Um, I want to go there right now. It's freezing in Utah. <laughs> yeah, so we have uh, a group that's going next week to Peru. And, um, and with, with incredible shamans, Shipibo shamans. And, um, and this is one of the centers. And the neat thing is, is that you're going somewhere where you know that A, it's safe. B, um, you know, they, they are members of Awake Healer as well. The owners of these places are, first of all, they're some of my best friends in the world. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the focus is on healing. It's not on taking some Westerners money and, uh, and ripping anybody off. So, and the neatest part is that these retreats, you can go with people that you know, love and care for you. And I couldn't imagine uh, two finer people uh, than Judy and Iggy to, you know, this is, this is a transformative, probably the greatest transformative experience of your life right up there with, mm -hmm having a, having a child, you know, um, and you want to be marrying the most amazing man, <laughs> marrying the most amazing woman. but it, you know, it's nice to have be with people that, uh, that love you and care for you. So, so if you choose to be a member of awake healer, it's a hundred PV, which is point value. It's just a, that's, uh, you know, that basically a hundred dollars, basically a hundred dollars in the oils yes. each month. If you just want to buy the ayahuasca pure vine to try, you can do that. It's a hundred dollars. You can purchase it off our website, awakehealer.com. Um, but we really want you to be able to connect mm -hmm. with um, your group leaders, Iggy and Judy. And, um, you know, we have, I noticed somebody on here from Albuquerque. We have a group leader in Al Albuquerque and um, mm -hmm. and uh, we have people around the country to the, that you can actually get in contact with personally um, if you feel like you need to meet with somebody but Iggy Judy did we miss anything um, um, I no. think you covered the basics yes I, I think, think you did, yeah. you did. Um, I just wanted to um, add in that um, you're screen sharing yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love that background. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I don't cosmic. want to share anymore. It's cosmic. It's cosmic. <laughs> <laughs> it's cosmic. And we do deal with the cosmic. No, this is um, not it. So I, I just I wanted like to, to just share with everybody, you know, here that um, Iggy and I, stop share. Iggy and I have Thank had um, a profound experiences with ceremonial, you know, ayahuasca our, ourselves. Um, the first time I did my ceremony was like five years ago, I think now, <laughs> five years ago, mm -hmm. and have done many ceremonies since, since then, but my first ceremony, and I've never done anything, I've never smoked a cigarette, I've never done pot, like nothing, the first thing I ever did was ayahuasca, and um, it was a very, um, that ceremony, I went completely by myself, I didn't know anybody, and it was very transforming for me. I saw a lot of things and um, I did go in there with, you know, an intention to heal some ancestral wounding. I went with an intention of like expanding myself, expanding the gifts, you know, and, uh, I, and I got that, <laughs> I did get that. I did get that. I mean, I think I have a very unique experience um, in that uh, with, with the medicine and that when I was, after my first ceremony, my eyes were all messed up. Like I had, I, I couldn't see people. Like I was just seeing 
everybody was light and balls of light. So I was seeing chakras and I didn't understand it at the time. And everybody was like walking balls of light. And my eyes were like that for like three weeks. And I didn't know what was happening and I didn't understand. I was like, am, am I gonna see people and their bodies ever again? And after three weeks, it, it sub subsided. But I think the medicine was showing me um, a gift that opened up, you know, for me in that I'm able to read, you know, energies and then help people heal. Um, and so I went in that direction, you know, in my life after ayahuasca. Um, and then I met Iggy maybe like a year or so, you know, later. And um, he journeyed with the medicine, you know, too. Um, right. And so it's changed our lives so much that we made it really our mission to bring um, people to the sacred plants, to ceremonial, you know, ayahuasca and other plant medicines. And when Matt, Matt had contacted us, I don't even know when that was, like June or June, something? Probably. June, probably. June of June last conference. year and told us um, about Awake Healer and this sacred vine. And I was like, what? You're bringing like the pure vine here, here to the United States and we can like microdose with just the pure vine. And we're like, we're in. Like, what do we do? How do we sign up? Like, we're, we're in. And so, because um, we know how much this medicine has changed our our lives personally and um and we you know done we've been to peru we've been to costa rica you know to do ayahuasca and we know that just having access to this in it in this form that it is where basically almost anybody can take this it's not um and, and you're able to function it's not ceremonial ayahuasca so you're not going to have any um, be where you, you can't do anything. All it is, it's like an herbal tincture. You just put it underneath your tongue and then really receive the benefits of this, this sacred medicine. Um, and as Matt said um, earlier, the, the medicine can do so much for you um, more than you know. It, for me, uh, I get like downloads too. I get like downloads of information. It's like, it's like it just something in my brain, <laughs> like it opens up in order for me to receive. And so I get a lot of downloads um, in, take, in taking this. And it really does give you a sense of well being. So if you suffer from anxiety or depression, like ayahuasca can like, like shift that so, so fast, so fast. Um, and so we have found like from some some of our squad, the unicorn squad out here that is already microdosing, um, they have found that, you know, sense of well-being in their life, just taking the ayahuasca every single day, right? Yes, Maybe absolutely. Like, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to mention that um, some of the science can be explained in some, there's blog posts on our website, awakehealer.com. And you can go and, and watch some of those videos where, where uh, scientists, you know, they explain what these beta carbolines are, what they do. And there's not, because you're taking in just in such a small amount, mm -hmm. there's no real contraindications. Like, you know, I mean, you probably want to back off your caffeine mm -hmm. uh, intake a little bit. You know, if you're taking like, you know, more than 300 milligrams a day may want to back off a little bit. But other, other than that, um, I haven't heard of anybody really having a bad experience. It's an appetite suppressant too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it kind of naturally, I find it naturally. I want, I'm, oh, oh <laughs> my sorry. hair got caught. I, I naturally um, uh, just am more self-aware of <laughs> if I want to overeat where I'm just kind of like, I don't really want to overeat. And so my appetite, it's like, it helps me be more in tune with who I really am on the inside instead of like appetites, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so. It does, it works on everyone in, you know, in different ways. I, I really feel like there's a really super high intelligence, right? A consciousness yeah. that the sacred plant has and that she's going to work with you in whatever way is needed in your now moment. Like for me, the when I first started microdosing ayahuasca, you know, I'm um, 
going through like menopause and having all of those symptoms of like hot flashes and insomnia, like not being able to sleep until really late. And <laughs> the first, first time I like took the drops, I went to sleep so early, like, well, she fell asleep before me. Yeah. I I was like, like, how is that possible? It was like, I mean, it was 1030. And that's like early for me. And I didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay, because I just suffered from insomnia. And then I took it again the next day. The next day it happened again. I was like, oh my God, it's the ayahuasca. It's uh -huh. like helping me like go to sleep and like helping me um, with my hormones, with my hormones. So I, I really believe that she, she works with you and whatever is going on, you know, with you. And for me, when I, because I know it's a sacred medicine, I, you know, when I, when I take the medicine, I, I do a little ritual, you know, I, and I do it in the morning. You can take, you can take the medicine at night if you want to, but like, I, I hold the bottle in my hand and I, and I pray, and then I put an intention. Um, and I ask, you know, if I want certain healing, you know, in something or whatever it is, um, I put an intention and then I take the drops. Um, and intentions are very important as mm -hmm. we, as we learn from countless uh, ceremonies that we've already done, whether it's with sacred cacao, ceremonial cacao, or psilocybin uh, ceremonies or ayahuasca. Um, intention is really your desire, right? Your, your, your desires you're putting into this like expected outcome mm -hmm. uh, from the ceremony or from communing with, with the spirit of that mm -hmm. plant. And so it, it, the intention or intentions, because you can have multiples, as many as you'd like, they function like amplifiers for the experience. Yes. And so as both Matt and Judy mentioned, the, the results will vary for everybody and it's going to be custom tailored for your specific state of health and consciousness, whatever else you're going through. Mm -hmm. And it can work on a physiological level. It can work on emotional level or spiritual. mental level, spiritual level. It's, it's truly happening in all these multiple dimensions beyond what we can even comprehend. Mm -hmm. But the science clearly indicates that the powerful harma alkaloids within ayahuasca, pure ayahuasca vine, uh, stimulate neurogenesis, which means, you know, growth of new neurons in, in our brain, which I thought, you know, when I was going through school, they were telling us that, you know, you only have so many and they, you start, you know, they start dying and deteriorating. And when, when you're old, your, your, your brain doesn't function the same way. And now we're learning that's not true, mm -hmm. that you can actually create, there is neuroplasticity, right? And when somebody loses portion of the brain, you know, those functions that were controlled by their part, that part of a brain, we should lose. But then, you know, it was discovered that people are able to uh, control it with different parts of the brain. Mm -hmm. And similar thing happens with ayahuasca too. It helps us to rewire our brain, which is fantastic. Not only rewire brain, but also regenerate the brain. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has so many powerful effects, but probably the most notable ones is the sense of well-being you know, and reduction in anxiety and stress. And, you know, if you look at our nation, right? I mean, most of Americans are, are overstressed and have either PTSD or, or anxiety or some sort of, you know, some sort of affliction, mental affliction, which is, you know, terrible. Because like, we know that um, the, the, the medicines like anti-anxiety and anti-depression drugs are just you know suppressing us. They're mm -hmm. they're just numbing us down, but they're not really solving the root cause, right? Mm -hmm. And and this wonderful plant mm -hmm. helps us to get at the root cause mm -hmm. and actually get better. So all you'd have to do um, every day with with the medicine is just have three to five drops, put it underneath your tongue, and and um, and hold it there for ten minutes, and and that's it. That's it. This is a whole month's supply. So if you, um, when you join Awake Healer, um, and if you uh, join with the essential oils, um, then all you'd have to do is, you know, spend $100 in essential oils and you get the bottle for free. Yeah, it's yeah. essentially two for one yeah. deal. And it's <laughs> yeah. really, 
beautiful gift from Matt and Laura. Yes. The way I see it, mm -hmm. because I mean, it, yes. I love the essential oils. I understand the power, the healing power of the okay. essential oils. You know, I've used them before I joined doTERRA, but I wasn't really buying them wholesale or like every month, mm -hmm. you know, but I chose to join and mm -hmm. to order them every month because I love the essential oils. And, and, then I like get, <laughs> and then you get the ayahuasca for free. So, yeah, yes, so yeah. it's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And and so um, after you you take thank you, Matt and Laura. Yeah. After <laughs> yeah. you take the medicine for thirty days, then you give your body a rest about five to seven days. So you stop taking it um, for around a week, and then you can start your your new bottle. It's like a reset. It's like right. a it's like a reset, and um. Jo with um, joining Awake Healer, you really join a community. There's such a beautiful community of other like healers and people who are like on this, um, you know, path to using the sacred plants. And we've met some incredible people, you know, in the community. Um, and we were fortunate enough to go to, to Utah. We uh, facilitated a cacao ceremony for everyone there that was going through the combo training and just met some wonderful people. And um, you guys will, when you join Awake Healer, you'll see um, on the website all the different courses. Um, Iggy and I are going to put courses on there um, too, so you'll see the different courses that are going to help you. You know, anything. If, yoga, you, if you desire to become cacao ceremonialist or Campbell practitioner, or you can do that. or like learn about sound healing and, and actually Reiki. get certification and, and become practitioner in those fields, if that's what you desire. Mm -hmm. that those options exist and these courses are for free mm -hmm. when you join a community which is mm -hmm. another incredible gift yes. I, I wanted to say something interject and i apologize for doing so but i just wanted to share a text message that i just received um the other day hey matt i'm sitting here with prescriptions for my antidepressants for both myself and my six-year-old i've got a lot going on but i've noticed a difference these past few months since i haven't been microdosing the pure vine. I'm just not able to focus or sleep or get anything done like I need to. What do I need to do to get some more, please? And I have friends that I've given a bottle to. Uh, I'll, I've shared this story before, but we visited a friend and a professional surfer, artist, a friend of mine of 25 years. And um, I, I shared the medicine with him and I told him I, that I believed they would really help him as, you know, married 20, 20 some odd years and then, you know, going through a divorce he's kind of lost and we went to dinner we gave him the bottle i said this is a gift to you and we went to dinner and we came back and here he was tears streaming down his face and i said what happened and uh he has a a, a grand piano in his house and he's a very accomplished artist sells his paintings for you know thousands of dollars and he said matt you know i just love the piano i i don't know how to play with with shit you know, he says but but i always thought that one day i'd be able to know how to play and i like to just sit down and tinker around you know and uh and he and he said matt i i i took two full tubes <laughs> this is with the dropper tops he says i took two tubes and i told him what are you doing you know but he said he went over and with it underneath his tongue and he sat down at the piano he said matt i have never played like that I have never, I dreamed that I could play the piano and words came to me and I sang and it was, it was amazing. And he buys hundreds of dollars every month. He's kind of very, uh, he's, he's, he run, he run, he's very different. He's an artist, right? So his brain, he works a hundred miles an hour and he's just like, I try to tell him about a wake healer. Well, look, you know, these oils could really help you with this and that. He's just like, I sent you $400, send me however much you can send me for 400 bucks. <laughs> Baby, you know, what are you doing? But, um, but, and, and, and he says, I will never ever paint a painting without microdosing. I, I never will. He says, I'm so connected. I get so much more work done. It's just. And he's in Hawaii surfing right now. Yeah. Isn't he still in Hawaii? Oh yeah, he's yeah. in Hawaii. And, and he's just, he's getting super healthy. Like the pictures of him surfing, he's like, getting lean and feeling good and happier. And yeah. it's, yeah. When it's I lived cool. with him in Hawaii, he got like four uh, front page surfer magazine or cover shots, surfer surfing magazine. And, and uh, yeah, but anyway, 
we just, this medicine is very powerful. We'd love for you guys to have it. Um, and we, this, we want people to know that for us, this is not a money making scheme. This is not a money, this is not profit driven. This is what we're doing. In fact, if I would have known 10 months ago, the pain in the ass that this has been to try and make this happen, <laughs> I would have said, no way. But, but, but actually it's not because we're driven to do yeah. it. It's, it's a have to, even if we, if to. we, if yeah. we decided we no. in fact, I, I tested it. I actually tested it and said, you know what, if you want this medicine to work, it, this to come out to the world, then I'm kind of like challenging you, God source, whatever. And, uh, and the gates were opened to make all these things happen. And so it's like, Oh, hell. Okay, now we got to do it, you know, but right. Uh, I mean, no, I, I, no, again, uh, for, for everybody's benefit, because you're not going to be tooting your own horn, but I, I would like to add that, you know, there are a lot of costs associated with growing and harvesting this sacred plant, mm -hmm. harvesting one specific type of this plant that has high concentration of these, these powerful alkaloids. And then uh, it's it's harvested sustainably, so this vine can regrow within four or five years and be harvested again, so it's not damaged. And there is there is a great uh, desire now among humanity to use more and more of ayahuasca, so it needs to be managed sustainably. So that's one aspect. Somebody needs to do it. Somebody needs to then clean it and then brew it right then they need to make a concentrate then there are transportation costs mm -hmm. then there are these you know then you need to reconstitute it you have to bottle it and distribute it and mm -hmm. all of that is offered for free essentially if you join doTERRA and buy hundred dollars of of a point point value uh which is you know sometimes you have to spend 110 or 120 dollars you know in order to get yeah. the hundred dollar PV. So, yeah. so how you would order um, order uh, the oils, um, you would have to connect with us. You'd have to connect with me and Iggy, and we can show you how to sign up. Um, we basically help you to sign, sign up, up with, with DoTerra. With DoTerra. Um, right. And so every month when you um, spend $100 in oils, then it will you'll automatically get your ayahuasca. So a wake healer is connected to doTERRA in a way. So, so everybody in the wake healer network, every, mm -hmm. their information is then ported over to wake, a wake healer. And it's visible to a wake healer that you are part of this community. And, and when you make an order, that triggers for a wake healer mm -hmm. to process order of ayahuasca for you. Yes. Yeah, so, Does that make sense? And I'm able, I'm able to, so you all would be part of my, my, team my tribe and so i'm able to fund it that's yeah. how that's how all of it works it's not a um everyone you know that's part of doTERRA gets ayahuasca it's part of my tribe because <laughs> like Iggy said there's a lot of cost associated with it that's how i'm able to give it as a gift to you for free mm -hmm. uh, but of course either way it is a two for one thing so it's like a hundred dollars that's the bottom line cost you either get just the ayahuasca or you get the oils and the ayahuasca. <laughs> so it's like, plus all the courses and the community and the network and everything. We designed it that way because we want you all to benefit. Right. And that's how I'm able to fund it. We're able to fund it. So. Yeah. So, so, what, so what we're going to do is we're going to put on here, um, can you share your screen and put yes. our info? Uh, here we go. Um, that's a presentation. That's not it. Um, oh, there we go. So we have um, our information, you know, right here. If you guys want to um, give us a call, there's my phone number there. We have Iggy's phone number there. And our ad email addresses. And our email. So feel free to text, call, or um, email us. Uh huh. Yeah, and there's and our information all we on We have um, our doTERRA ID <laughs> number too, but we'll help you sign up if you are interested in that. If you're that. interested, then we can get you, you know, signed up right away so you can receive your your oils and your um and your ayahuasca. Can you put it back with you, Lou? And then sure. I'm going to talk about like, well, you know, when you join, um, what happens is you become part of our tribe here. <laughs> you become out of um, part of our group. And Iggy and I do um, every other week, we do a Zoom call with just 
the people who 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 joined with us and we go over we talk about the the oils um, because how we do it is we're using certain oils every single month to help amplify your chakras so right now um you know we've got i've got this bottle that this has uh, obsidian in it but there's essential oils in there so we're using um three different essential oils um that everybody's applying to to themselves every day along with the ayahuasca and so we're talking about how the oils you know really help and you know how it's affecting every everyone's and sharing, energy and sharing and, the experiences mm -hmm. so we do a, a zoom um zoom meetup every other week and we talk about the oils and the ayahuasca and everybody gets a chance to you know connect and share ask any kind of questions so when you um you know become a part of a wake healer with us then you're part of our you're part of our group and you get to um you know have access to you know if you have any questions about anything right you know we're there for you there so for you. you can connect with us also via meetup mm -hmm. um oh, yeah. or, Some of you came from or meetup. uh facebook which whichever way you found us mm -hmm. and um a link to us you can you can reach to us that way Mm -hmm. And we'll be more than happy to have a you know one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, explain to you, you um, yeah. explain how things work. Mm -hmm. uh, if something is not clear, we would be more than happy to answer that. We we can also open up forum for your questions right yeah. now. If you have questions, does anybody feel free to ask? Uh, does anybody have any um, questions in regards to medicine, Patty? Hi, I opened. Um, I sent you a chat, but I'm already signed up with someone with doTERRA mm -hmm. and Matt's pretty interested in getting some right now so he was looking at the website mm -hmm. um, for awakened right mm -hmm. uh, can he go ahead and just buy it that way <laughs> you could do it yes. that way too you could do it that way another option is for for Matt to sign up with doTERRA right and then get doTERRA and uh, the uh, ayahuasca for okay. free essentially right so if you are buying, so if you currently are buying and you're active with doTERRA, we wouldn't want to like poach you from somebody else, whoever is your, your upline, right? So Laura, maybe you can talk, talk about, about that. that. Yeah, are you currently working with someone right now with doTERRA? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And I've really just started a couple months ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And so do you, okay, so, so, so how it works is if you, if you that's the question i always ask if you're currently working with someone because we don't want to pull yeah. you from someone um and um and then the next thing is if someone isn't really working with someone if they haven't ordered for six months or more they've been inactive then they can just simply send an email in and be moved to wherever they want but you are working with someone so yeah um and you're married right you and matt are married yeah okay oh so. um so let me see. Well, we're engaged, so we will be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Congrats. Okay. Yes. okay Thank I you. Did. Well, we can we can, we can maybe talk about that yeah, offline, let's talk. just because let's the talk. call's been along and then yeah. other people. Yeah, yeah. Questions. Yeah, let's. We can reach, connect with you. Yeah, let's reach back yeah. around and let's talk about some options, and so yeah. we could get some medicine to you. Sure. Thank you. Yes. Okay, you with us, Patty. Does anybody else have any questions? Anything well, else? I do. I want, I actually would like to do both. Okay. Um, and Absolutely. I would like to order like as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. So let's, um, Tiffany, um, we'll connect. Uh, did you find us through Meetup, Tiffany? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. All right. So, so I'll find you on, um, I'll find you on Meetup and then we can, we can connect and we can get you started right away okay yeah. yeah right we can get some out to you right away to yeah. yeah any anyone else anybody have any any questions you can always um you want to put our info back up you can yeah. always um uh contact yes. us email us or um find us on facebook or instagram or even youtube <laughs> we got youtube too so there's all of our information, you know, again, 
Yeah, so we have a page uh, called Living in Om on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you can find us on Living there, in Om and Instagram. you can contact <laughs> myself or Judy over there. Uh -huh. um, and, and there's our phone numbers there. So you can, these are our cell numbers. So you can text us too. Um, and <coughs> we can get you started with the medicine right away. We can get you started with the oils, you know, right away too. Um, so I am. Any other, any other, things? any other questions? Any other questions? I guess I'll share. Okay. No question is a dumb question. <laughs> right. No, so again, you. if you can contact us, yeah. you know, offline and we'll be more than happy to talk to you and, and, you know, uh, share what, what we know and how this all yeah. works. Yeah, but, um, yeah, we, we know that everybody could benefit from ayahuasca. Yeah. Everybody. everybody. <laughs> question Everybody. is are you called to do that and we yes. can't answer that question for you this is such a personal thing so you know when you are called to the medicine and when you have this intuition and this pull this draw that you know that this is something that instinctively you know you know that it's going to help you you just know and there is no no denying it i knew when i wanted to like work with ayahuasca that that was a yes there was not a maybe or like, I don't know about this. It was clear as bell. So, you know, uh, and it's okay if you're not sure. You know, the beautiful thing about this whole thing is it's, there is no contract. You're not making any kind of like commitment to long-term. If you sign up and you take it and you use it for 30 days or like two months or three months and you decide like, this is not for me, you stop buying. Mm -hmm. That's it, you know? We are hoping obviously that you're going to feel so the much difference. better you're going to feel the difference and you're going, going to like benefit from not just you know ayahuasca but also from essential oils and you incorporate that into your daily routine mm -hmm. and and so you know that's what we are doing mm -hmm. but obviously everybody's different and you need to see where you are yeah. and whether that resonates with you yeah so we we are here for you guys we really do feel just like Matt and Laura, you know, our mission on the planet is to really get the sacred medicines out there to everyone. Um, so people can understand that there are so much power in all these sacred plants and you can just change your life so much, so much. So we thank you guys so much for being here. We are so grateful to spend this time with all of you and um, just have your energy here, you know, with us. And we're so happy that you have this beautiful interest in ayahuasca and we just can't wait to to connect with you guys thank you matt and laura thank for you coming so on. much love thank you both you. Love, love you guys love you so much and we'll talk to you guys all um, really soon well, cheers bye-bye okay so i'm